Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcoming myself back too, since it's been a while since I've recorded, since I've physically been doing this. So although I've been posting, I have gotten into this really good cadence where I'm recording well enough in advance and then giving myself enough time to edit so that I can be posting once a week. Where did I go? You might be wondering. Well, I took a vacation, which turned out to not be a vacation. Well, I guess it was a vacation in the sense that I got to rest and I got to get away from my house, although I love my house. Um, I went on a cruise and I can't even get into what happened, but it was a cluster. <laughs> I actually am going to post some videos about that. So if you're interested in that, you know, stay tuned. Maybe they're already posted and you can just go to the next video or maybe I could, no, I won't even get into it. Anyway, I'm back. So let's do what we're here to do. Okay. Oh, look, the moderator has posted something. Introducing post request Friday. I don't know what that means. I also don't want to look into it. I don't actually have a Reddit account. I just lurk on Reddit. It's just like the thing I do. So maybe one day, maybe one day I'll get a Reddit account. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the one I do, I think. <laughs> How do I get out of the mindset of saving things for special occasions? Mainly around material things like clothing, makeup. I will buy clothes and wait for a special occasion to wear and more often than not, a period of time passes and no longer like the style or doesn't fit or it ends up going to waste. This subject is particularly interesting to me, of interest to me, and I am particularly passionate about it because I come from a family of hoarders via my mother's side and it's always been, it's always in the back of my mind that I could possibly become one. Is it genetic? I mean, it's happened to all of my mother's family, like all of her immediate siblings. And yeah, it's just like something I think about. I do have this urge to save things. I don't know why. No, I do know why. Um, it's probably made up of a very complex mixture, primordial soup of things. One, it could be like my genetics, or two, just like seeing how I grew up, you know, that my parents and aunts and uncles just hold on to things. So I think I must hold on to this thing that I could possibly use in the future, even though I'm never going to use it. I need these like colored pencils and crayons. And, I need this notebook for this and this and that, and then gather all these things. And I think we live in a society that really pushes us, pushes the notion that we need things, that we need this thing for this thing and that thing for this thing, and that you must have an abundance of the things to be able to live a very comfortable and fulfilling life. This is not necessarily true. And I think that there are ways to work yourself out of this belief out of the desire. Yeah, and I think that this post and specific, specifically just kind of touches on one part of it, like saving things for special occasions. But I think it's like, how do you get out of the mindset of thinking like, I'll use this thing at some point in the future when you really aren't going to? How do we get out of the mindset of like also purchasing things, thinking that, you know, we're gonna use it at some point in the future and we're not. And I guess, let me think about this for a minute. So I guess I've developed a counter habit, which is going through things. And if I don't, if I'm not like actively using them, trying to throw them away. And I'm not perfect at it, I will say. Clothes I try to do this with, spring cleaning is something I'm like, okay, I must go through and get rid of stuff. Or if I find that I'm running out of places to put things and things like don't have homes, it makes me like, it's like, okay, something needs to go away. I mean, there's some things that, you know, I still collect or whatever. Like, for some reason, I buy a lot of books. Now that I'm thinking about it, my mom used to do that. So I should probably curve back on that. I just buy books and I try to read them, but most of the time they end up sitting there. But yeah, recognizing it. So now that I'm like thinking about this and recognizing it, I need to stop doing that. Let's see what other people have to say. Um, 
person, hmm, not sure I can influence this. So my cousin used to work for a junk removal company. Aversion. The best way to do this is to <laughs> aversion therapy. <laughs> Watch hoarders. If you do not want to become those people, you will be like, I don't need this thing. Let me get rid of it. And I also went to this thing where I was like, oh, let me save it because I'm, I'm going to get rid of it, but I'm going to give it to someone else. And then I just had to get out of my, that out of my mind. Like, people don't want my old shit. People don't want my old junk. But it's like, I just need to get rid of it. And I, there's also this, like, combat, combating, combating? There's also this competing feeling of not wanting to waste things, which I totally get. Like, we should be sustainable and not be creating a bunch of junk. I think that it starts with, like, not purchasing things that you don't need. So let me finish reading this comment. He went to the house of a guy who passed away. Mm -mm -mm. This guy had $5,000 a bottle of wine he was saving for a special occasion. No occasion was special enough, apparently. My cousin brought it to his parents' house and they enjoyed the bottle together. Yes, you shit. Like, why? I also think that there's some blame to put on, and I'm just thinking about makeup specifically, like why do they make bottles of makeup so large. For example, if mascara is supposed to expire after three months, why is the container so big? You can make a smaller one and charge me half the price of this and this will last me three months and then we could throw it away. I guess that would create more trash too. Ugh, this is the curse of overthinking things because now I'm like, oh, there's, yeah, sustainability is important. Ugh. So this is going to be the episode where you guys realize that I have a neuroses of overthinking and not solving problems <laughs> and just coming to a conclusion that it's okay that I don't have the answer to everything. The point is we're starting a conversation about it. Going back to the topic is aversion. Like see these people who have done these things and don't be them. It's not good. This reminds me of a story I heard that got me to stop saving everything for the future. A woman told me a story about how she had cancer and one day was looking around her house at all the things she accumulated. She saw so many unused things, barely used fancy china, beautiful dresses. She beat cancer and decided to enjoy everything. She started using her fancy china with her nice clothes out. Yeah, we do save things for the future or for like, you know, like this person says, a special, a special occasion. Your life, oh, your life will be filled with moments that you can make special by just putting intention behind it. Exactly this. This is also something, this is also fortuitous because I've been thinking like, this is it. This is my life. I am 34, going on 35. If I want to do things like travel and blah, blah, I just need to start doing them. The other week, I was just like, fuck it. I want to travel. I want to my want to put my body in some like another place and enjoy that place and I need to start doing it and I need to start taking time off to actually enjoy those places so I requested my first long weekend I got it off and I was like the world didn't stop and I'm also going to stay longer and like I, I'm just going to go to a co-working space and it's like we need to live life now any moment could be a special occasion like if you have something and you're saving it make a special occasion but also i think don't buy shit for sh future things that are kind of like erythrial um what's the word i'm looking for no mm. nebulous <laughs> yeah stop buying things with intent, with nebulous intention. Let me see, am I, I just remembered it. Yeah, vague or ill-defined. Have intent, which is what I think this person said, just have the intention behind what you're doing. So, amen. <laughs> I don't care if it will resonate with you, but once I came to the realization that things are designed to be used, Yes, cars are designed to be driven, clothes are designed to be worn, books are designed to be read, letting things sit on yourself, your shelf and collect dust, or hanging around your closet waiting for the right moment is preventing those things from fulfilling their purpose. This is great advice. It's very succinct, has examples. I feel like they're um, attacking me a little bit with the book comment, but I need to hear that. Like, I need, and if I'm not gonna read those books, then don't buy anymore. <laughs> Preaching to the choir here. 
I feel like I could go on and on and on about this topic, but I feel like I could get into a tangent on other things like how, you know, the value of whatever you have just makes it feel like, oh, well, I can't get rid of this thing because there's some value to it, whatever that be monetary or sentimental value. So that makes us accumulate things. Anyway, I was going to get into time and things like that. But, you know, I think this is a very interesting post. Do you have any ideas on how do you get out of the mindset of saving things for special occasions? Um, do you have any funny stories about hoarding? I would actually like to read those, doom scroll those as well. If you do, comment below. And thank you again for joining me for one of these Reddit reaction videos. I have a lot of fun doing them. Although um, today it did take me a very long time to find one to react to. But I think guess that's the nature of the beast with doing so many of these. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you. Bye. Oh God, I hope I was recording.